During the last few months, many people have had the time to take up new hobbies. I've painted and sketched all my life. But most people haven't picked up a pencil or a paintbrush since leaving school. I believe there is an artist in all of us. So I've come here to one of the last remaining mills in the UK, making paper for artists. St. Cuthbert's nestling below in their craft have never put paint to the paper they make. It is really lovely when you see something that's absolutely gorgeous um, hung in a gallery and then you realise it's on your paper. Paper to me, it just has to be right. I believe the paint and the pencil have a connection to the paper and it, if it's right, it reveals the beauty in every stroke that is laid. And it's important that every sheet of paper is the same as last time we make it. We go to great strides to um, ensure that every batch of paper we make on our paper machine, when it arrives to you, you don't notice any difference. The mold press used here at the mill was first installed in 1906 and has been maintained and operated ever since. The paper's unique texture comes from pressing it against woolen felts and the speed of the rollers determines its thickness. The final product is then cut and packaged by hand, ready for shipping around the world. Phil Staple is known as a master paper maker. He's devoted his entire working life to its production. Can you walk past a piece of paper without judging it? No, uh, undoubtedly not. I mean, you go to a restaurant and you get given a menu, you can't help but look through it mm. and look at the surface of it. What's it like to be one of the last people remaining that makes paper this way? You, you feel quite proud that, that this is what you've done for a long time and you feel quite proud that it will carry on, carry on happening for years to come. Today, Phil's colleagues, none of whom are artists, are going to be using watercolours to create his portrait upon the paper of which he is so proud. Being an engineer, I'm normally used to drawing with rulers uh, and protractors. It's my first time painting on the paper we make, so uh, looking forward to it. I mean, I'm not really the best at painting, so it's a bit nerve-wracking, but I guess it'll be alright. Before starting a watercolour painting, you first need to do an outline sketch in pencil. That's going well, Neil. Mmm! I'll put it on a little bit too much weight. <laughs> make sure you don't make the pencil mask too dark, remember that, yeah? Okay, yeah. Good, yeah, good. So this is completely new. It's not a million miles away, so I'm pleased about that. They don't normally get a chance to go on the, the papers. It's good to actually feel what it's like. With their light sketches complete, it's time for the paint. First thing I'm going to do is to paint the dark of his face. His hair is a bit light, but it's still I still regard it as a dark, so I'm just going to play a game with it here. Anytime I dip my brush into another colour, I'm always going to clean it out. Let's do it! As my artists apply paint to their paper, the true likeness starts to shine through. It's actually quite nice to just lose yourself in it. I'm enjoying seeing it all come together and making a, a picture. This is absolutely fantastic. It's nice to be able to actually use the product that we make. It's been lovely to see them put paint to paper. I think it's now time for us to take a look. I love the beauty of the watercolour and the effects it's made on the paper. I like the cheeky little smile he got on Phil there and I like the positioning of the head, it's quite contemporary. I hope you can use this as a springboard to do more creative work in the future. Well done, guys. The experience today was actually really enjoyable. It's been unbelievable. I'm going to carry on this now as a, as a hobby, as much as I can. Painted on the paper they create, here are all of our paper mill portraits. How much would you love it if Adabanjo was your art teacher? <laughs> you know, I know. I fancy myself as a bit of an artist. Do you know? Like, I'm, I'm the one that does all the... I'm the dad that sends in the schoolwork that's way too good for their kids to oh. be sending in. <laughs> Don't rat them out live and tell It's telling. too late. They know already. <laughs>